Hi everyone, it's Matt here from Launch Helmet Cams. Today we're going to do a quick open box review of the new GoPro HD Hero 2, uh, the outdoor edition, which we have right here. Uh, we're just going to open it up, have a look inside, uh, see what comes in the box and quickly go over some of the main new features. The GoPro Hero 2 uh, from the outside looks very much like the original GoPro HD Hero, uh, the only real difference being that the packaging is black instead of white. Uh, let's open it up and see what we can find inside. So, peel this off. Um, take off the uh, case on the top, and we've got one camera, and uh, that's sitting on a base um, that, unless you're uh, a bit of a MacGyver, doesn't have any real purpose um, but if you're a bit inventive you can actually do something with this mount um, get the camera here we'll come back to that in a minute and uh, yeah all the contents are in the box so let's see if we can get inside here and uh, see what's inside packaging is slightly different to the old one um, get a nice user manual or well, looks like a nice user manual um, seems to be a lot more detailed than the original user manual was uh, it's nice and compact should be easy to pack and take along with you uh, this one's definitely got a lot more uh, information a lot easier to read um, should be good Okay, moving further down into the box, let's see what else we can find in here. Okay, so um, battery and the skeleton housing back door. I'll open that up. Um, so the battery is just a standard GoPro rechargeable battery, same as on the HD Hero. Um, pretty self-explanatory and then we've got a skeleton back door so this allows you to have an open back door for improved audio at uh, lower speeds uh, once you start going faster though you'll probably want the uh, the standard back that's on the camera your standard USB cable and ooh, what have we got here stickers there's three of those in there everyone loves a sticker and uh, so you get through them, giddy up. Digging further in, take that piece out. And we've got uh, a bit of a mount package, so I'll open this up. Uh, inside the mount package, you get two flat adhesive based mounts. So you peel the red backing off here, stick it on into, onto any flat surface, mount the camera with those. You also get two very similar looking but slightly different curved adhesive mounts. Uh, same sort of design but this one's got a curved shape in it. Uh, better suited for attaching to helmets, especially uh, full face style helmets or ski, snowboard helmets, that sort of thing. So two of those. And you also get uh, the what they call a three way uh, adapter. Uh, and what this allows you to do is to mount the camera on the side of your helmet. Uh, or in other sort of sideways orientations um, and then have the camera sit on here so that would go there and then your mount would be here um, going further uh, we've got a head strap mount so this um, works very much like a headlamp uh, style mount um, Pretty self-explanatory. And then last but not least, uh, the vented helmet mount. So this is um, for helmets that have good size vents in them, like uh, cross-country mountain bike or cycling helmets. Uh, this strap goes through the vent and then back up around, clips in on itself, and then you do the same on the other side. So that's pretty much all the contents of the package. 
uh, let's have a quick look at the camera so here we go HD Hero 2 uh, looks very much like the original HD Hero um, it's only really once you start looking at closer detail that you realize that there's any difference um, the HD Hero 2 will fit uh, in the standard HD Hero housing it's exactly the same uh, which is a nice feature open this up and there we go that's the camera um, like I said few slight differences uh, notice the microphone in here um, it's a, a new feature three and a half mil microphone input uh, on this side we've got a HDMI output um, what else is new the uh, camera has extra LED status lights so this is the main one there's an extra one here one on the back and one on the bottom here um, those will flash red when you're recording to let you know uh, that you are recording um, let's chuck a battery in this and uh, see what happens when we power it on so battery goes in like so and then an SD card which goes in that way so front button hold it on to turn it on uh, interesting the noise out of it's a little bit different a little bit louder maybe um, screen definitely looks a lot easier to read uh, you can sort of see um, across the top here we're obviously in video mode um, the uh, rather than having R1, R2 type of modes it actually says here 960, 30 frames a second uh, the 0, 0 I think uh, is telling us that we've got 0 clips recorded um, we've got a battery status down here yeah pretty simple so as with all the uh, the other GoPro cameras it's a case of uh, button on the front starts recording so now you can see that red status light and also on the top back and bottom showing that we're recording um, indicator on the front showing uh, how far into the recording we are all pretty self-explanatory um, that's basically it um, I think from here we're going to uh, take the camera out um, give it a test and uh, we'll come back with a full review of all the features different um, shooting modes that sort of thing and then down the track we'll also be posting some uh, video comparisons between the HD Hero and the Hero 2. So stay tuned to our uh, YouTube channel, check out all the videos. Uh, we'll be posting a heap of content and different reviews and comparisons uh, for you to check out the GoPro HD Hero 2.